Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. What's good? Today on the table, we got John Connor. I don't know if y'all heard of this dude, but I, I dig and I research music that is meaningful and actually makes sense. All right. And so we're going to go into his song, uh, Eminem's old song, actually, Cleaning Out My Closet. But he overdid the beat. And um, I guess he's from Detroit. They can do that. Right. And um, anyway, um, Cleaning Out My Closet. I like where he went with this in reference to explaining to his family members and people that try to stop your dreams. So we're going to decode some of these lyrics and jump right into it. All right, y'all. John Connor, Cleaning Out My Closet. See you soon. People's rap you ever wanted Cannon. something so Cannon. bad you do Cannon. anything for it Feel it in your soul and people telling you to ignore it Like you could go to sleep, wake up and it be gone in the morning Your parents saying it's a phase, act like this shit ain't important People see your passion, intentionally try to kill it They mad at they self for you chasing your dream and they didn't Cause the thought of you winning only making them bitter They think they hate you but they hate they self for being a quitter As time goes on they block it out and they try not to remember can't escape it, gotta face it when they look in the mirror They was you at one point and they still trying to forget it But fear beat them in the end and they don't want to admit it How could they guide you or ever give you advice When half the time they complain and bitching about what's wrong with their life About all the shit they wish they could change if they could do it twice Just get it right the first time instead of rolling the dice They telling you your chance of making it is one in a million They lying, it's working, you the only one that was willing They try to discourage with you cause they know for them now it's too late Misery love company and they want you as a roommate Now your skin getting thicker, hard to control your emotions When the lack of support come from the ones who the closest When your mother and your father is what's throwing your focus Y'all can argue all you want, but this how you close it I'm sorry, Mom. What, what do you say to that? What do you say to that, man? Listen, it's self-explanatory But I'm going to do a little more explaining, a little more elaboration. Let's jump right into it, all right? Decoded bars. This is what we do. Let's listen to this, man. Okay. You ever wanted something so bad, you do anything for it. Feel it in your soul. People telling you to ignore it. Well, if you have a dream worth anything, okay, at first... You will find almost no support. Trust me. I deal with that with almost everything we're doing. All right. What you see literally is buried inside of you. People can't see what you see. So you got to have some kind of perseverance. You know what I mean? Let's keep going. Like you could go to sleep, wake up, and then be gone in the morning. That's how they treat you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you'll get over it. All right. Then it says, uh, your parents say it's a phase, act like the shit ain't important. Come on, man. People denial, people's denial of an obvious gift is only a driver if you're able to see it that way. All right. I, it never matters what people say to you. It really only matters what you say to yourself. All right. Let's go. He said, people see your passion, intentionally try to kill it. They mad at they self for you chasing your dreams and they didn't. Ha, ha. Any, any time or anything that you possess, it has to go through a fire stage of ridicule. All right. Um, that thing about passion, if you're strong enough, nobody can kill your passion. It's infectious. All right. The answer is in the spelling of the word pass I on. It's infectious. You are so passionate and enthusiastic about what you're doing. People can't help but to get on the board. It's all up to you. All right, let's go. <laughs> it said, because the thought of you winning only making them bitter. They, they think they hate you, but they are mad at themselves for being a quitter and anything that they've done in their life, okay? So we have the bottom line, we are all reflections of each other, all right? There's no such thing as hate. It's really just offended love, truthfully. That's another teaching, though, all right? Um, we're all reflections of each other. That's why when we're able to solve everybody else's problems, but not our own. We need help with that. People that hate you or hate on you uh, for trying to rise, they're really upset or disappointed or disappointed that they didn't do more to rise themselves. So it's really nothing to get upset about. All right, here we go. Ooh, 
As time goes on, they block it out and they try not to remember. Can't escape it. Gotta face it when they look in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? The story, this story with humans is older than dirt. Okay, y'all remember the Joseph story in the Bible? All right, he told his brothers he had a dream where all of them bowed to him. He, he said it with so much conviction. It's not like they didn't believe him. They believed him. That's why they sold him into slavery. Okay, dude went through a long life of drama, jail, uh, people stealing stuff from him. He was beat. He was hurt and heartbroken and everything. And at the end of the day, because he kept PMA, which is positive mental attitude, the dream came true. It always comes true. But it's all about mindset. You are the difference in everything. All right. They was you at one point and they still trying to forget it. But fear beat them in the end and they don't want to admit it. Hmm. Fear, the false evidence appearing real, appearing real. It, it really blocks us from moving forward. That's my opinion. <laughs> People can't give you what they don't have. They always complain about day life, right? But they're trying to give you some advice. It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? People cannot give you what they don't have or able to give. So don't expect it of them. All right. Expectations uh, are dangerous. OK, <laughs> real talk. You've got to depend on yourself. All right. Let's go. About the shit they wish they could change if they could do it twice. Just get it right the first time instead of rolling the dice. All right. I love that. All right. Do it right the first time. Do it right now. OK, people are giving up on their dreams and hating on you, not realizing they can just do it now. People love to project in the future or live in the past, totally alleviating the fact that right now is very important. If you you never lose right now, you never lose your right now moment. Just jump on it and make it happen. Right. Here we go. Telling you your chance of making it is one in a million. They lying. It's working. You're the only one that was willing, right? If you don't know who you are, people will voluntarily tell you who they think you are. And you, you silly enough to believe them, then you don't deserve to be successful. That's real talk. They try to discourage you because they know for them it's too late. They think so anyway. You only know it's knowledge. That's thinking, words, all that same department, okay? They, they know it's too late. Misery love company, and they want a roommate. Hmm? Not me. When people find that they can't do something, they naturally will find creative ways to discourage you. Discourage you. But it's really, it's not discouragement. It's really there to test you, to push you, to drive you. You know what I'm saying? But like anything else, how will you respond? Hmm? A lot of times we don't like to take the responsibility or have the ability to respond, but it's all on us. No matter what the opposition is, you still have a choice to press and still make it happen, right? <laughs> now your skin getting thicker, hard to control your emotions. Your intellect, emotion, and will, all this stuff, energy in motion. It's hard for you to control all this stuff. When the lack of support comes from the ones that's the closest, you expect these people to help you. You expect your wife to, to do all this to help you. You expect you expect all these things, but that's not what it is, man. You got to press, all right? Uh, doubt can hurt, but only if you believe it, all right? What's hurting you, huh? The best resent, the best revenge, excuse me, is success. That's my opinion. Grind. Get it. All right, let's go. That man said, uh, with, with your family, your father and them, uh, your mother, they're the ones that's the closest and they hurting you the most. But this is how you close it. Real talk. Remember, don't follow others. This is the word focus. F-O-C-U-S. All right. Don't follow others creating unnecessary stress. But follow others, creating ultimate success. All right, we done. <laughs> Thank you for watching and subscribing. Um, and like always, feel free to send an email. We appreciate your suggestions, your opinions, your praise and perceptions. Until next week.
Peace Reflections. Get on me love, man. I really don't compare myself to nobody. I create my own world. This is how I see it. Man kill each other, so be it. Yin yin yang, that ain't fixing shit. Obviously, we gotta fix ourselves. Changing the way we think. Oh, I swear, there'll be nothing left. Humanity acting like animals, normal, man. mammal, but damn. Control my emotions, create a new notion to know who I am. Cause if I do that, then all of the drama I pick.